Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So wishing all of you a happy new year, wishing that this new year bring joy, love, peace, happiness to all of you. All your wishes, let God fulfill them and let God bless you. Okay, so with this wish, let us start our today's discussion on SVM regression, right? So in my previous video, I have explained in detail about SVM classifier, how, what is the kernel trick, what is the mathematical intuition behind the classifier algorithm, right? How to implement SVM classifier in MATLAB, how to visualize the decision surface, decision boundaries, etc. What are the advantages and disadvantages of SVM classifier? All this with in-depth intuition I have discussed, right? Now we are ready to understand the SVM regression. Okay, so a quick recap, what uh, was the main algorithm or objective of our SVM classifier? That is, SVM finds the widest street between nearest point on either side, right? If you consider this particular picture, the sky blue color data points are belonging to one particular class and this brown color data points are data points belonging to another class. The main objective is finding the widest separator, which is called margin, okay? So this width of the margin has to be maximized, right? Find widest margin with most distance from nearest point. Very carefully understand, SVM objective for classifier was find widest margin, okay? That is make this margin with maximum, with most distance from nearest point, okay? What are nearest point? On either side, see, for this particular class, this is nearest point, for this particular class, this is nearest point, right? So, SVM tried to maximize this width considering most distance from nearest point, right? These are also called support vectors, right? So this was our classifier. In regression, what happens? In regression, if you just recall linear regression, same kind of thing, find line that best fit the points. But here also in SVM regression, margin concept is there. Here, all the data points, SVM regressor never consider to get best fit model. What it does, it try to take as much number of points as possible inside the margin and those points which are coming within margin, for that points it try to find the best fit line. Okay, that is you can understand that here the two parallel lines going and this is our best fit line based on the data which are coming inside the margin. It is not considering this data point or this data point or this data point which are coming outside the margin. So obviously one thing we can clearly conclude in between the difference in between classifier and regression that is in place of classification there was no point inside margin, right? But in case of regression the SVM uh, regressor seeks to maximize the number of points inside the margin and those points which are coming inside the margin, it try to find best fit line for those, okay? Now, if you consider SVM classification, so consider this particular point which is brown point properly classified because any data point which will be above this particular separator will be considered as uh, data point belonging to brown class. Any data point which is coming under this particular linear separator, uh, which is coming below this linear separator will be considered as data point belonging to sky blue color class. Now, if you consider this particular data point, which is it is in its proper side, that is above the particular decision boundary, which is the region for the brown class, perfect, right? And this is far away from margin. So we can confidently say that this point is belonging to brown class, right? If this data point, consider this particular data point, it is comparatively very close. So the if the data point is very close to the margin, that time our confidence will decrease about the classification, right? Because we can clearly understand from the basic concept of in-depth intuition of uh, SVM classification that this data point classification has much more confidence than this data point. That means conclusion is points 
far from margin are good for SVM classification. But in the reverse way, we can say for regression, points far from margin are bad because the target is just maximizing the number of points within margin. So if data points are far away from margin for regression that is bad right that's why this point is bad this point is bad this point is bad penalty has penalty will come for all these points right now again with respect to penalty if you consider see for svm classifier above this particular linear separator all points should be data point belonging to brown class. Now here one sky blue class data is present. So this is outlier because this is different from rest of the data points near data points, right? So, and this is in wrong side, right? So outliers on the wrong side are penalized in SPM classifier. And in case of regressor, what will happen? In case of regressors, points which are far away from margin are penalized like this point is will be penalized this point will be penalized this point will be penalized okay here there is nothing called wrong side right side right because here there is no labels for data point this is regression problem not classification for classification like these labels are present so in case of svm classifier the outliers which are present in wrong side are penalized whereas in regression which are uh, outside the margin those are penalized okay right and Obviously, from this difference discussion in between classification and regression, one thing I hope you can easily understand that the SPM optimization was maximizing the width. Okay, right? But for SPM regression, it is not objective. Objective is finding the best fit line considering the data points which are coming under margin. So, width of the margin is not objective for this particular regression. Rather, width of the margin is a hyperparameter. Okay. So, if you consider width of the margin very small, then most of the data points will go outside the margin for regression and as a result, penalty has to be uh, created for all those data points. Right? Because away from margin bad for regression. And if you consider huge width like this, that time, most of the data points or almost all data points will come within the margin or in the street. This is called street for SPM, right? So as a result, the penalty will be less because less number of data points will appear outside the margin. So this one is called hyperparameter. We can tune this while creating the SPM regression model, okay? So the conclusion is width of the margin is found by the optimizer in case of SVM classifier, whereas for regressor it is one hyperparameter. And the optimization duty is find the best fit line considering all the data points which are coming inside the margin. Okay, and the margin width is hyperparameter. We can control that, right? So this is how the main points we have covered using regression considering the difference in between SVM regression and classification. Okay, I hope you have understood this. This is all for my this video. Thank you.